much and sorry for the technical difficulties. This is my first live on my channel. So um, I am I have quite an interesting setup going on here. So we'll just learn as we go and get better. But today, Thursday, I just wanted to make a coffee cake so I had dessert for tonight and for the weekend. It's a perfect comfort food. So I'm well on my way into weekend vibes. But in the US, I just wanted to say that coffee cake is a cake that's served with coffee. It's not a coffee coffee cake. But I do have some tips coming up on how you can make it more of a coffee coffee cake, which I think a lot of people like. Background on this, I've been really wanting to try Preppy Kitchen's coffee cake for a while and thought, why not do it live? And just add my own um, substitutes and changes and just let you know um, what I had planned. So what else is there to let you know? One more thing before I start, Preppy Kitchen describes this as melt in your mouth, has a ribbon of cinnamon inside with crunchy streusel cinnamon on the outside. So I can't wait to try it. Perfect treat. So let's start first with lining the cake pan. So here, instead of a nine by nine, like Preppy Kitchen has, I actually have an eight by eight pan and two pieces of parchment paper. This is my trick for making it easier to release and line the coffee cake for enjoyment later. I mean, I think kind of one of the most annoying things to happen is you have the cake, it's made perfectly, it's cooked perfectly, and it's time to release it, and it's stuck, and and it's not so pretty when you get it out. And sometimes with a firm cake, it's not a big deal. There are ways to release it and um, turn it upside down, but the good stuff is on top. And so I don't want to have to flip it over. So this is a tip that I want to share with you guys. And it works really well for me. As you can see, it fits the inside of the paper or of the baking pan. And I love that you can make this cake in advance. You can freeze it so you can always have a treat. And um, coming up next, I wanted to also mention all of my ingredients are room temperature. That's gonna be really important about any, almost any baking recipes. Of course, there are some exceptions, but here you go. What do you think? Moving along. So now I'm gonna get into the filling, AKA ribbon, which we have here. I got my post-it notes. I'm so prepared for you. Um, and this is flour, brown sugar, and also cinnamon. So I'm going to get this bowl again, move it over, and we are gonna get this filling going. So according to the recipe, there's nothing really that I've changed with the brown sugar or the flour. I measured, I weighed out my flour and measured out my brown sugar. And I'm going to whisk this together. Oh, here's a substitute. I really love that molasses flavor and Preppy Kitchen, uh, John, I believe, he actually uses light brown sugar. I like to use dark brown sugar. And this just means that I'm probably gonna have to bake the recipe for a few extra minutes because there's more moisture in sugar and in molasses. So proportions are the same, but different um, type of brown sugar. Also, I really love cinnamon. <laughs> so instead of two teaspoons, I went ham and went for a whole tablespoon. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna regret this. I love this. Oh, 
Oh, and mom, you sent those awesome pecans. I'm sorry, I'm not using them in this recipe. I totally forgot. <laughs> so there we have it. Beautiful brown sugar ribbon. I'm just gonna set that aside. I have the streusel right here, same deal. Um, flour, a little bit of salt, brown, dark brown sugar, cinnamon, and this time we're gonna go with some butter. I'll just move it back this way so you can see it. I'm going to add the flour. Really funny, earlier I had this mount that I have the cell phone on um, fall over and I have to re proportion the ingredients. Not a big deal, but a little stressful before, because I was working earlier, I could only do this at lunch. <laughs> so I was nervous that I wasn't going to commit to that 5 p.m. time, but I'm here, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm gonna try and do this every Thursday at five. So again, went ham on the cinnamon. We wanna get the, a little bit of salt in here. Cause I'm using a non, an unsalted butter. So I just wanna make sure everything is nice and incorporated. doing it and putting on a glove because <laughs> I don't want icky hands for this. Thank you everyone who's watching right now. I'm so excited. It's my first live. <laughs> my first live on my YouTube. But um, fun fact, my first first live was actually on Instagram with Hello Kitty. Really humongous fan. So that was a really big deal for me. So this is just crazy. I actually just made um, a lime bar. I haven't posted it yet. Um, recipe where I also used my hands to incorporate everything into the crust. Like I actually used some lime zest in it. Same process, I used my hands. But some people love that squishy, oily, wet feeling. I don't like that but <laughs> this, is, this is how John does it. So I'm doing it that way too. Again, dark brown sugar. And this is the streusel that's gonna go on top. And the chunks are good, as long as there's not too much butter. I just wanna make sure everything looks all wet, but we can break it up when we're adding it later. Preheat my oven now to 350 degrees because that's, we just wanna make sure it's really baked. I have a sheet in there. Look, <laughs> you see me in there. Okay, I'm moving on to do the cake. And again, my stand is a little broken. So I feel like this is probably the best way to communicate with you right now. And so I have, um, I have all the dry ingredients and I wanna make sure they're um, mixed in together. So I'm going to actually get a bowl. And I'm going to sift in everything into this bowl before getting it onto my mixer. So let's do that now. Sifter. Here's my all purpose flour. reading up on coffee cake and it sounds like coffee cake started in Europe and there it's actually served or made with coffee in the, both the streusel and the cake. So very interesting, but I'm in America. So the way I've always had it was this way. And I love a coffee cake, a good coffee cake because I don't know, a lot of times they, you can find a 
them that they're pretty dry. And I guess that's why you have it with coffee, but why not be really moist and tasty? Here's three tablespoons. That was my flour. That was 270 grams, two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Here's 30 grams. One, um, one quarter cup of cornstarch. Then we've got my baking powder. That was two and a half teaspoons and then three quarters. How cute are these little pink? <laughs> and I'll get the, this all incorporated. It's, I use pink Himalayan salt. Not all of it kind of gets through, but it tastes super good. So I, I did some research and sometimes at this point people put in ex not espresso powder, that is gonna make it so strong, but coffee powder. And here's a Starbucks one that we always keep here because I use them in my chocolate cake a lot of the time. So highly recommended. But I'm gonna move over now to my stand mixer. So strong. Let's see. <laughs> and I got my butter. Ooh, that's nice and room temperature. It's not, it's not mushy. And then I have half a cup of brown sugar, which depending on where you are, maybe you want to do grams. That's a hundred grams, a hundred, uh, then 200 of granulated sugar, the white stuff. So that's one cup. And I'm going to put that in here because we're going to cream that. So Oh, I feel like I'm doing this all backwards. Because I am, I'm usually facing my mixer, that's what I mean. So I'm locking it. Actually, let me face it like this towards you. Right? <laughs> you let me know in the comments below, where should I keep my mixer? So this is gonna take about five minutes. Oh my gosh, it's sliding over. <laughs> it's okay, I think it's okay. This is gonna take about five minutes. I'm just reading ahead to make sure I have everything that's needed here, but um, the next step, is adding the vanilla and eggs one at a time, the vanilla. I have Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Um, I want it to be a little healthier. <laughs> and then we'll add the flour all on one go on the last thing. The, the creaming is looking pretty good. And then we're gonna assemble, which I'm super excited about. Oh, you know what? So again, I really like to do my research and you can prepare coffee cake the night before and make it in the morning. That means you don't have to bake it. Just cover it with saran wrap and just cook it for about five extra minutes um, further than the recipe. I mean, how fun is that? It's gonna be nice and fresh. The house will smell really good. I, I personally love cinnamon. Can you add nuts? Yeah, a lot of people say add it into the filling or onto the streusel, but crush it. Um, personally, I think that walnuts would be super great in this. Um, what is the most common mistake? I think it's adding any baking recipe, adding too much flour is a really common mistake. I would say um, whatever your measuring cup, whatever the form of your measuring, make sure you take a spoon and scoop it in. And so it's nice and light and fluffy. That's how it's meant to be distributed and then take something to remove the excess. And then, oh, how long do you warm it up? So, uh, you know, everywhere that I read, it said between 10 to 20 seconds. 15 seconds sounds pretty safe. So I'm gonna move back to this because it looks really good now. Oh, that's the opposite of what I wanted. So. 
before I move on to the next step, I'm gonna scrape down the sides. And you wanna do that with every recipe because I don't know if you ever get like a cake that shrinks, it's probably because you didn't scrape down the sides or because the recipe, the, the ingredients aren't at room temperature. It's like all the baking powders on one side or the baking soda or whatever the ingredients are, they're just not evenly distributed. I've just done that so many times where I just forget. But no biggie, we're not doing it this time. We're awesome. One egg at a time. These are room temperature eggs. I like to drop it in, give it a few seconds, then get it nice and incorporated. When I don't see anymore, I'll slow it down again. Now the next one. There. Okay, I'm gonna move this forward. And with the last egg here, I'm gonna add some, uh-oh, vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm gonna just scrape this down again. We wanna make sure everything is really well incorporated. The egg is so nicely emulsified. I'm gonna drop this in. Ah! Okay, if you're not making a mess while you're baking, maybe you're not having enough fun. So this is definitely fun. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna use a smaller bowl. Okay, so I think that this calls for a tea towel so it doesn't explode all up in your grill. I'll, I'll remove it in one second. When it gets to this point, oh, when it gets to this point, let me show you. There's like still little chunkies and stuff. We're gonna actually do the rest of the mixing by hand so we don't over mix this recipe. It's kind of important with some recipes and this is one of them. Just gonna put some stuff in the sink. <laughs> Love my KitchenAid mixer and I've just read in again while I was doing my research this is kind of one of those recipes that's just gonna turn out so extra great if you use a stand mixer I don't know why but I trust King Arthur flour Gosh, I'm glad I didn't wear pajama pants now. So here's some of the mixing. It's like get everything that's in from the sides. And it's really thick, look. What? That's awesome. I totally made a mistake and forgot to include the sour cream that I mentioned earlier. Does anyone ever do this? This is probably gonna ruin the recipe, but I don't wanna <laughs> circle over again. I'm gonna just add the sour cream now. I was like, this is extra, extra thick. I might add just a little bit more flour to it so that it's not ending on this ingredient. Uh, anybody else not like the smell of Greek yogurt? Oh, you can see my face a little. Hey you guys. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Anyone ever do that? I, I feel like on camera, 
like that's when the mistakes happen, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. So here's how it looks. It looks so much more balanced than before. <laughs> my batter. I got my streusel. I've got my um, filling, AKA ribbon. And so I'm just like, other people just guesstimate on what half is for this recipe um, when you're distributing. But oh gosh, the bowl's so heavy. And I just got half in there. Does that look like half? What kind, what's the kind of coffee cake you guys grew up with? Like, did it have blueberries? Did it have jam in it? I mean, a lot of people have it and celebrate it in different ways. Can you see that? <laughs> but it's so nice to have these clips on here. There, it, You can put the clips in the oven. It's great. See, it's nice and thick. It smells really good. Again, like, um, I don't like the smell of Greek yogurt or sour cream on its own, but this turned out good. And this isn't the hard part, getting the filling. This is the filling and this is what the streusel for the top looks like. You know, I, one of the things, the pieces of feedback that I saw were people will adjust how much um, you know, you can make the filling and if you just feel like, gosh, this is gonna be like way too much sugar, then just remove, just don't use all of it. That's totally fine. Make sure it's like all on the sides. See that? What do you think? Should I use all the sugar? Do you think I should use all the sugar? That's how, like, there's that much left. Wow, that's a lot. King Arthur uses, actually, I noticed that the Preppy Kitchen and King Arthur flour use a very similar recipe, but the filling was just, a, instead of three quarters a cup, it was like half a cup. But you can save this and put the rest on top. And so then late, you're not as committed. So later, if you just feel like, gosh, that's just a little bit too much cinnamon, you can totally knock it off. Here, you're kind of committed. You're like, do I really want all that extra cinnamon? Anyways, now it's all the way to the sides. Yum. It smells so good. I can't wait to bake it. And it's getting really hot in here because my oven's on. But, okay. So I, find, I think that the best way to spread something when there's a dry filling on the inside is just move this, kind of get like splotches of this in different spots so it's easier to spread. So I'm just gonna do a little bit now and then I'm gonna start adding some more. See, it's really thick, but that's just how the recipe is. Oh no, I'm using this one. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Maybe eating's the relaxing part. But what I was saying before is you can bake this exactly as is with these clips in the oven. I see other bakers have this technique of cutting it perfectly and then making these little um, strips. But I kind of find that those fall. This was just kind of a way I figured out as I was baking all of these sheet cakes. Okay, you guys, are you a coffee person or a tea person? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Oh, look at my face. I got the glow. <laughs> so hot in here because <laughs> it's 350 degrees, but what is it outside? Like 60 something degrees? It's so warm. 
My face is on fire. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, this is looking really good. Hey. Um, I like to use an angled spatula. I saw Preppy Kitchen use a spatula and he's just a pro. Oh, you know, fun fact, Preppy Kitchen, if you're watching this ever, I'm from Connecticut. And I saw that you have like a farm. That was like my first video. It was, it's a, like the most popular coffee cake on YouTube. So it was like my first video where I was watching him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's like a farm style home. And then I just kind of, I went to his website to grab this recipe and I'm like, oh, he's in Connecticut. He's like farm and two kids. He's making this for his, um, one of his, or he has um, twins and one asked for a muffin cake. And so this was like the most, like he felt like was the most like a muffin cake, which I thought was hyper cute. Um, okay, so here's my streusel, it's nice and thick. I think I'm just gonna, no, I'm not gonna go for it with my hands. That's just too much. I'm going to use a spatula and get it distributed a little. It's like pretty wet. Followed the recipe. What it should be wet, right? Okay, well, then I'll just, you know, okay, I'm going for it. I'm like worried that it won't get far enough. Oh, okay, it looks good. And, and it's on top, it, it's gonna get crispy. Okay, I have to go for this with my hands. Maybe like not a good ring day. You know, one of the best things about baking is that my hair will smell like cake, whatever I'm baking. I guess that goes for food too. The other day I made curry and I smelled like curry. All my stuff smelled like curry because I forgot to close all the doors. <laughs> but I love baking with cinnamon or chocolate because then my hair smells like cinnamon or chocolate. I can live with that. Just like, I can live with how awesome this looks. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see your awesome cake come out. Oh, thank you for joining. Okay, so what do you think? I like it. So it's all nice and wet. I think maybe just add like a little bit of the crumble. I mean, like how can it hurt? It, you can just kind of knock it off. I'm just gonna put it on the spots where like I didn't get any crumble in there and then just get it in the oven. I have a feeling like, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna get this in the oven. Uh, like, like I mentioned before, I have a baking sheet in the oven. I think it gets the best um, baking distribution. And I'm gonna just put the timer on for 40 minutes. And then just, I guess we can just bring this up now. And then see, kind of like the things that I wrote. Can you freeze it? Yes. So wrap it up in saran wrap and then you can keep it frozen. And I, it's everywhere says it's good for up to three months. That's kind of all cakes, but I guess this holds especially well. And then earlier I asked you how you take your coffee cake. Is it with a, um, berry ribbon. Um, here I have notes like pecans, walnuts, or glaze on top. And then, oh, cocoa powder or um, maple syrup, or you can um, probably do, if you want something stronger, you can do a crumble of coffee powder. And then also if you don't, have brown sugar on hand but you have molasses and you have um, regular sugar just use like a few tablespoons of molasses to make brown sugar but just know that the darker it is the more minutes you probably have to add on and I, I'm gonna this is how much crumble I have left I mean I guess it's just like a, a preference thing I I used a instead of a 
nine by nine, like what John used or like um, Claire's uh, from the dessert lady, dessert person, sorry, <laughs> the dessert person, she used a nine by 13. I think it just depends on the amount of surface area that you have, like if you wanna use this all. And for me, I, I used a smaller pan. So I'll save that for the top or, you know, with my coffee or whatever. Let me see. Oh, here I can check comments. Like this? Can you see me? <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> oh, who likes my t-shirt? Do you guys know who this is? Gudatama? <laughs> Gosh, it's less than two years ago now that I went to um, the Hello Kitty Seattle Museum, like a pop-up museum. And I, I love Hello Kitty. I'm a big fan. I've done multiple projects for Sanrio, but I'm dying to do a Gudetama project. Like gr growing up, oh, Kathy knows. I don't know if Kathy is still on here, but growing up, she and Sarah would take me to the mall, the Galleria Mall, and we would get to pick out like a planner or pen. And I'm a geek, I love meh. <laughs> and I love Sanrio so much. And that was like one of the highlights of my year. That and adding all my homework to my planner and all the assignments we get to do. That was like so fun. But I think I... Hey, also I'm curious, do you guys like this portrait mode? Because I'm, I'm filming on my phone. It was by accident. And I think most people are used to seeing it this way. But, you know, let me know in the comments. So in the future I can... Um, be, I could, you know, do whatever makes it easier for you guys to watch this. And uh, on my website, I'll include the Preppy Kitchen recipe, but then the changes that I made um, going along, and as well as the exact ingredients. Like I used King Arthur flour, and I can't remember the Greek yogurt that I used, but it's, I, I, I like it, I eat it plain. So I think that it'll be really good. Thank you. Thank you for complimenting my t-shirt. What are my favorite baking tools? I think the things that I can't live without as far as baking tools go, clips, parchment paper. I think, you know, my mom introduced me to, what's it called, uh, press and seal. And it makes such a huge difference when, when I'm saving um, a recipe. Like literally when something's gone wrong and I need to figure it out, I. I have that. Um, what else? Oh, you know what a question I have for you guys? Tell me what Harry Potter house you're in. This is kind of a big deal in my house because my partner and I aren't in the same house. Guess what? Oh, better yet, guess which one I'm in. <laughs> and please don't tell me you've never seen Harry Potter. We have the same birthday and every single year, every single year, I my, basically forced my partner to watch it over again with me. Like starting at the beginning of the month, it's Roxy month, month of July. Oh, you're a Hufflepuff? Kev, I didn't know that. Yes, I'm a Slytherin. You know what was funny about that? Is that, that um, it said I have to review that comment. Is there a negative connotation to being a Slytherin? my gosh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know I'm a Slytherin. I did the um, Buzzfeed one and they give you percents. And so I was like Slytherin, then um, Gryffindor. And then um, you guys let me know in the suggestions below um, what you want to see next. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. I wanted to do a blueberry buckle cake, which is very similar to a coffee cake, but has fresh blueberries in it. Um, kind of thinking of quick recipes and, oh, peanut butter cookies, those crisscross ones, shortbread cookies, <coughs> excuse me. Um, or I could do things that are kawaii. Thank you so much. I, I, I got this at Forever 21 a while ago. <laughs> um, peanut butter cookies. Coffee cake soup? What is that? No, don't go. <laughs> oh 
Well, I'm here. I'm good to hang out for as long as it takes to bake. I'm gonna be here anyways. <laughs> But filmmaker's formula, please tell me what coffee cake soup is. I'm gonna text you later <laughs> to figure that out. Resin cake, my favorite. Oh, raisin cakes. No, raisin cookies are your favorite. Oh, I know what you're thinking. I, um, raisin rum cake. I'm all for that. Cakes do take cakes do take a little while. Should I I feel like I'm just gonna peek a little bit. Oh. I'll just let that go. Oh, it's looking really good. It's expanding. I didn't know it was gonna get so much higher. But it's uncooked coffee cake they eat because of impatience. <laughs> That's a really good one. Okay. Um, coffee cake soup is uncooked coffee cake that you eat because of impatience. I'm all for that. I've been there. Yeah, Rachel, thank you so much for joining me. I, I, I'm gonna share it on um, Instagram and I, it'll still be here. So I will re I'll go into the YouTube editor feature and then edit out some of this like me emceeing and just rambling on and on. But I hate to, I always tell people who are learning to bake, don't peek and open your oven because it's just gonna, it's, it's, it's not good for the cake, but I will give you a little peek right here about, there was like an inch of space above the cake and it's a lot it looks really good oh, i feel so nervous to do this i'll do it really quick no i think you can see it well let's just see now can you see that see it's so much higher the crumble is exceeding the actual cake pan there was like an inch of space before and now it's actually exceeding it Can I? You couldn't see it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I I can bring my phone over so that you get you guys can see it. Is it done yet? Can't wait. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no, it's not done. Okay, are you ready here? There we go. Can you see that? Oh, so it's definitely raised. Here's that pan, that baking sheet I was telling you about that I always keep there because I like to have a very even heat distribution. You're kind of seeing a little bit of my setup here as well. No need for a behind the scenes. It's just happening. <laughs> I've got 21 minutes. I can just bring this here. Okay, anyone ever go to Daiso? If so, I, okay, I'm getting a no here, but it's a Japanese dollar store, um, which I'm pretty obsessed with. And now I never find these anymore, but if you find them, buy it and I will send you money because I absolutely love them. Oh, I'm really glad that you like watching. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I know it's really late there on the East Coast, so I really appreciate you spending time with me on this Thursday night. I, I didn't want to do this Friday night because it felt like too much having hear, hearing from me two days in a row. Um, I, I still gonna start posting. I, I post every two weeks on Saturday, but I'm going to start posting once a week on 
Saturdays and then doing lives every Thursday at five. Really, I'm gonna do a poll later to see what time works best for folks as far as joining for a live goes. I know there's um, more, most of the six people who are on here are on the East Coast, so it's kind of nice to make it a little bit earlier, but I have to work <laughs> still. So five o'clock is kind of a little bit the best time. Maybe half days on Fridays during the summer, and that might be okay. It smells really good too. My, my, um, my face looks so different in color than my arms do. Is that, is that what you guys are seeing too? Oh, this is a good time for you, Kathy. Did you guys already have dinner? <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to eat? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, for uh, for um, folks who know Polar, my dog, she's she's doing fine. She her surgery is gonna be next month because of her um, her skin thing. But no, there are people on this call who know who she is. I don't really know what else to share. Ask me anything. Thank you. You look beautiful. <laughs> That's really nice to say. Really appreciate it. <laughs> no, you're so pretty. <laughs> I, I wish that I could um, do likes and things like that. Like add a cake emoji. Gosh, that thumbnail was so bad. I can't believe I still got some joins from that. Anyways, 17 more minutes. Are you guys gonna hang in there to see the outcome? Wow, I wish that I could share the smell of this cake. It's just about the best thing ever. No, I will share the cake. I'm gonna share the cake as soon as it's done. I have my gloves here. So I'm like ready whenever it's ready and my skewers. Oh, I see. My head is like shrinking and getting cut off. Is that working? Is that better? Sixteen minutes has only been one minute. Yeah, the, the so. Oh, someone sent a message and then you can retract the message. Well, so I, I, again, I got this timer at Daiso. It was, it's all, it was only a Japanese dollar, which is like $1.50 USD. And they have everything, frogs, pigs. I, they're, because of this, of everything that's gone on the last year and everybody, everyone's baking. I will send you one when I find one. Everyone is baking. These are really hard to find to find now. We're gonna kind of just hang in here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how long did it take to build this kitchen? I, uh, I. I don't know if anyone out there appreciates this, but I'm a little, 
obsessive. I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that I'm um, OCD, not that that's a negative thing, but I'm a little compulsive about how white white can be. And so we bought these tiles and um, chose the, the, the whitest, the least warm ones possible, and then applied those. And this rock star, uh, I actually got this from Pottery Barn. So if anybody, if you, anybody can have this and have a rainbow, so. No, we didn't eat dinner yet, but it's only six o'clock, so it's okay. Thank you, I, I, really, I really love the backsplash. In hindsight, I, oh, uh, not in hindsight, but apparently it would have been easier to make it entirely marble all the way up instead of having this um, like break here, but say la vie. <laughs> well, this is fun. Do, do, you, th do you think I should just, I, I should stay on so, so that I could show off the cake? I feel like I should be doing dishes right now. <laughs> but I'm ready. I'm ready to check. So this is this is my solution for what? This is my solution for checking if the cake is clean. So the recipe calls for 50 to 55 minutes, but most places say recommend checking at about 40 minutes to see if um, cake is done. So I'm, I have, my timer says about 13 more minutes before the cake is done. Oh, you know what, Kevin, fun fact, I recorded something for my day job. Um, I did a recipe video and I did do the movie magic, the TV magic thing where, you know, I placed it in the oven and then brought out finished cookies. But there was actually one, there was, there was one extra of each cookie. So there was two extra cookies. So imagine the cookies were actually eggs and bacon and there was one extra bacon or maybe two extra bacons and one extra egg. And everyone was commenting like, what the heck, her oven's magic. <laughs> her oven's magic, like you put in, you put in six cookies, you get nine. <laughs> oh my gosh, a lot of, and uh, the company that I work at, everybody is highly analytical, not everybody, but a lot of people happen to be very highly analytical. So they just notice all of these details. And I got a lot of, um, interesting comments on that. So I will stay on. Do dishes and chat. I don't know. Uh, I have to figure out a situation where I can bring this stand thing. Um, it'd be hilarious if you saw how it was being held up right now. I have two coconut creams and a coconut can um, propping it up. But I, 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 I'll do the dishes after. I have a great new dishwasher that we just got in like two weeks ago because my other one wasn't turning on. I will stay on. <laughs> oh, Kathy, yeah, this is my first time making this cake. I just saw I saw the recipe and it's the it's the most popular recipe it's the most popular coffee cake recipe on YouTube. And uh, so I just thought, sure, I'll just make this. I really wanted to have it for dessert tonight after curry, green curry, and then to just have it over the weekend. So I kind of thought this could be a series, like 
let me know what type of thing you want to have and I'll make it for the first time basically with you guys. But if we're doing movie magic, then it technically wouldn't be the first time. So uh, I have to think about that one. <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Is this my first time making this cake? I'll stay alone. <laughs> I don't I don't know about the movie magic thing, but there's just so many I you know the most time consuming thing for me is that when I do recipe development, I really do the recipe development. I spend so much time figuring out, swapping out ingredients, whether it's like all purpose flour, wheat flour, or agar, or gelatin, and it's really time consuming. And sometimes I just wanna bake and just hang out. And I think that this was kind of that solution for me. And I love being live and just chatting and seeing questions and things like that. It's like just a really great way to connect. I still think YouTube, video platform, although I'm really just looking at myself, I guess, um, is like a really fun way to engage. And then also I can get, um, I, I can get feedback real time from you guys. Like now, uh, Kathy, it sounds like Thursday is a good day for you. Um, at this time. I love that for me. This is perfect too. Um, if anyone has ideas or for things that they want to see, like I always want to hear that and I can always tackle that. And then if I, if anyone has follow-up questions that I don't know the answers to, I, I'll come back and post them in the comments or on my blog, my webpage. But I, I, I want to be spending more time here on YouTube with you guys. And also, also let me know if next, if portrait mode's okay, then cool or if next time should be landscape mode. I'm seeing like my head's kind of getting cut off in this. Oh, cause it's not recording nine by 16. Like I see myself on my iPhone and it's like, it's like a foot and a half above my head right now. But what you guys are seeing, it's like right here, just above my head. I got a question, how much time? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Seven and a half minutes. Sorry. Let me check. It smells so good. You know, another great thing about the baking, a baking tray is that the worst thing ever is cleaning off um, grease and um, sugar at the bottom of the oven. It smells good at first, but then like however many months later, it's just so gross. <laughs> but it's almost cooked yeah what's nice about um i was talking to my partner about this and um what's nice about cookies is that like a sugar cookie takes seven seven to nine minutes to bake and nine minutes is like is a brown cookie um, a chocolate chip cookie is like 10 to 15 minutes to bake and it's so quick to put together you don't need a stand mixer I feel like that could be a series too. Um, no bake, one series. Um, and then like doing things by hand. I noticed a lot of, what are those called? The ASMR mukbang type videos. Mukbang, muk, mukbang. <laughs> those ASMR videos. They never use a stand mixer. I mean, the, a stand mixer is so loud. It just kind of, it hurts your ears, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> Did you guys like my red stand mixer? It's so bright. No. <laughs> okay. I got, a, I got a comment, don't open it so it cooks faster. I, pr I promise not to open it anymore. I only opened it once. <laughs> I just, I, I literally just turned on the uh, light so that I could see what it looks like. Oh no, crumble is falling off of it. 
Should I remove the clips? I feel like I should. This is a really fluffy cake. I wasn't really expecting, expecting that because this is much more dense than like a chocolate cake would be um, as far as the batter goes. But you guys, five minutes. Oh, and another, okay. So another tip with this is that the cake, um, if it feels just lightly wobbly, that's okay. It'll continue cooking out of the oven. It's just the type of cake that it is. We want it to be a really, one, don't, uh, don't measure flour incorrectly. Two, um, we want to make sure that, I forgot the two. I think I'm so hungry, you guys. <laughs> two, you want to make sure you line the pan really well so that you can easily remove it. Um, the, I guess that's more important to me because I want to take photos of all my food. And then the third thing, you just, you don't want to overcook it. You don't want to cook it on too high. You don't want to cook it too fast. And um, when there's a little bit of a jiggle, it's totally okay to take out. Oh, the other piece of advice was don't overmix batter. You never want to overmix batter. When you get a cake that shrinks from the sides, instead of having to release it, it's, it's, like 90% because it was overmixed and no, like maybe 80% because it was overmixed and 20% because, um, <laughs> are you guys falling asleep? And 20% because it was um, not room temperature ingredients. So, or the wrong proportions of things. Measuring is super important. Did anyone else take home economics? and learn how to measure. I'm getting a no here. <laughs> no on my, I, I did at school. My brother and I did. My mixer, I can see that. Like a red dinosaur. So I got a comment here, mixer looks like dinosaur head. I can see that. Now that makes me want a green one. Kathy, did you take home ec in, um, in school? Oh my God, it smells so good. You guys, two minutes, 20 seconds left. Like in, in my school, it, home ec was a requirement, but not every single year. So I missed the year where you learn how to do laundry. Uh, and I know my mom taught me so many times, but. But that's okay, you have so many life skills. <laughs> it's, it's the school of life. I remember freshman year, my, um, my roommate was, not my roommate, my friend was kind of appalled that I just had um, piles of laundry and I would just, I would basically have, bring enough clothes that I didn't, I almost didn't have to wash it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking freshman year. And, you know, halfway through the semester, I'm like, I'm gonna have to wash my clothes. I'm gonna have, to, I'm not, I didn't bring enough clean underwear. <laughs> and so my, my friend, she brought me to the laundry room. I, at school and made sure that I did my laundry correctly. Thank you. It's a, it's a KitchenAid mixer. Fifty two seconds. So like when I when I open the oven, can you guys see inside of it? You can't? Should I move it down a little? Well, I can't because I, 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 so I can't hold my phone and show you the inside of the oven because I'm about to use my crab claw and then uh, tester. So 
Um, but if it's done, I'll bring it out and just show it. I think I should just bring it out now. Let me just check it in more. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Enthusiastic, so nice, thank you. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, it's so not even close to done. Oh my god, it looks really good. <laughs> you know what, you guys? I'm just gonna bring it out so everyone can see it. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going to place it back in the oven in a second. It's not, it's, uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's not done. Let's see. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> so it's still wet here I'm gonna place it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes but I know it's pretty late and it's been a really long time that you guys have been hanging out with me so see this piece that's done that's looking all good I'm gonna put this back into the oven until this piece cooks here Kind of wet, but that's okay. Thank you! Yay! <laughs> Let me take these clips off. Like, oh, they're really hot still. Let me just eat this cinnamon. Mmm. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Co Cinnamon streusel coffee cake success. If you guys watch my regular videos, that's a thing I say. Owie, 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 owie. Cinnamon streusel coffee cake success. Thank you, Preppy Kitchen. Thank you guys so much for joining, with, joining me. I'm going to work on getting a oatmeal cookie prepared for um, a future video. It sounds like that would be good. I saw a peanut butter cookie as well. That'll be nice and quick. And raisin cake? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's a raisin rum cake. And then just thank you so much for your time and all of the suggestions out. Oh my gosh, it's so hot still on the side. <laughs> and then just wish you guys a good night. Thank you guys. I'll be back next Thursday. If you can come hang out with me, I really appreciate it. I love y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, how do I turn this off? Are you sure you wanna stop streaming?